Hi, how are you guys? We're good. How are you? I am doing extremely, extremely well. A lot better that you guys jumped on here. <laughs> Andre, this is a yes. strange start an interview, but we have matching eyebrows. And I don't find many people out there in the world who I get to share transparent <laughs> eyebrows with. So I just feel a kinship with you already. The the very thick eyebrows that my wife says, maybe one day you should try waxing them or plucking them. And I say, no, I'm 41 years old. Why well, do that now? No, if our eyebrows were were the color of Marin's, they would just be, all, they would be. <laughs> massive but they, they <laughs> kind of a little bit more subtle because you you know they're just they're almost invisible yeah <laughs> it suits it is it is well thank you guys for uh for being on here with us and uh so Marin, are you are you in nashville or are you out in la right now um i've been in la the last couple of days um for the grammys and just rehearsals so um yeah i'm out here and it's actually colder here in LA than it is in Nashville today because it's like 70 degrees there. Um, so I always bring like rain and cold weather when I come to Los Angeles. <laughs> it is so much for the saying, it never rains in Southern California, right? Every time you show up, it does. Right, yeah. <laughs> and uh, JP, how about you? Where, where are you at? Are you in, uh, in Nashville, in New York, in Canada? I'm in Los Angeles as well. Okay. Okay, great. Now, I, I know that you're nominated for a Grammy. Marin's nominated as well. Marin is performing, so we can't wait to, uh, to see all of that. And hopefully you guys walk away with those awards on Sunday. Um, but let's talk about Line by Line. So you guys uh, teamed up to do this song. And I know it sort of came around by JP tweeting out his, his love for, for Marin and her music and her songs. Marin, how long did it take before you actually uh, saw that tweet or, or noticed it and got back to JP? I think it was same day. Yeah. I mean, I, I handle all my socials. So I love interacting with like fans on there. And then um, I also reach out to artists that I'm a fan of all the time. So um, yeah, I think it was like same day I saw it and I was already a fan of JP's and um, the cool thing about social media is like two artists or two writers can reach out and be like, Hey, do you want to write? Sure. Like, and it happens. And we wrote line by line, I think two months later and here we are. And JP, when, uh, when she tweeted back at you, did you have to sort of second guess it? Like, okay, is, is this, is this real? Is this Marin really, you know, reaching back out to me? I knew her music too well to doubt her sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believed it off the jump. And I, I mean, in a year like this, when all of the, you know, natural environments in which a bunch of us artists would actually be in similar places are just not on the table, you know, we have to turn to our, our, our virtual hangouts to be able to find connections with the people that we, we would like to collaborate with. Well, so, you know, once she got back to you, you actually guys did come together in Nashville to to write the music uh, and not do it in, in separate areas virtually. How long uh, you guys were there for about two days together writing songs? Is that correct? Yeah, um, it's funny to me, you know, when I first came to Los Angeles to start writing songs, I was 19 years old and I did thousands of just the like starter beginner sessions like really rough you know basements just not the vibe at all and it took me like five six years before I started doing sessions with you know really it took a second in Los Angeles all that <laughs> to say my very first ever session in Nashville was with Marin oh that's cool so just jumped right to the top in my yeah. in my Nashville experience so go ahead Marin Oh, no. I mean, I just knew the second we sat down that first session that um, JP was a lyricist and also sings his butt off. I, I was just, you know, it was like, it, you never know until you get in the room with somebody if uh, it's going to meet the expectations. And JP just, um, yeah, just it's so fluid the way that he speaks. 
they are lyrics already. Um, so you just have to like catch them. But um, yeah, it was obviously a fruitful experience. And um, it was just, yeah, it was so fun. And I'm glad that I could be your icebreaker for Nashville. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just never going to be better than that. <laughs> it's like my Nashville writing experience peaked from the jump. The standards are set. They're up here. So do, with, with that, did uh, Marin, did you did you have JP change any diapers when he was in town? <laughs> no, I think that was one of my first co-writes back after having my son was that that week. But um, no, I would never ask him to do that. <laughs> I, I can barely bring myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, you guys came together did you when you guys before you even got to Nashville JP did you guys have the idea of the song in your mind or sort of maybe even a couple of the lyrics before you guys actually got together no not at all um I mean the the idea was Marin's she I don't remember exactly how you phrased it but something along the lines of you wanted to what did you say you wanted to write a love song to song something like that mm -hmm. um, yeah, my favorite topics is just like songs about songs yeah you know when I go into sessions and within the first 30 minutes it's you know someone I'm in the room with if I'm working with someone new they're like all right so like do you have any concepts like what do you want to write about I'm like I don't know we have to talk for two hours first how am I <laughs> supposed to know what we're supposed to write about we, we don't even know each other right so to, so to me the like the songs flow the best when there isn't this expectation of like, okay, let's think about what it's supposed to be. It's more, let's talk. Let's see what we connect on. Let's see what we have in common. Let's see, you know, let's see the thing you're going to say in 90 minutes from now that's going to make me chuckle because it sounds like a pre-chorus and then let's start writing the song. Okay. That's, that's a great process right there. It's, it's almost, I guess, like the social media now, you know, you can, you can follow people around, but you might not actually know who they really are until you actually talk, use your voice and talk to them and reach out to them. Now you guys actually performed this song on a late, late show with James Corden, but you guys were two different places and recorded that. Correct. No, we were in person together. We, oh, okay. We filmed it in Nashville. Um, and yeah, I mean, we we just did like two or three takes. Um, and uh, no, I love, that's the cool thing right now about um, just doing uh, these late shows or any like content in quarantine is that you get to be really creative each time. And um, obviously, you know, we can't um, go in person to the studio and do it, but um, JP flew to Nashville and we were able to film it there. And um, I just, yeah, it like, it was simple, but I think that's what makes the song just shine is not having a bunch of like smoke and quick cuts. It's just like, hey, let's let the lyrics do what they do. And um, but yeah, it was it was cool getting to per like really perform it together for the first time. Yeah, that I, I didn't even think about it. That really was our first proper live performance of that song. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I there, go ahead. I was I agree that it's it's the kind of song that doesn't need the bells and whistles. Although I do love that in the music video we are floating around in like this fake space <laughs> ocean. Oh yeah, that was cool. I mean that had to be true. that was the beauty of the song. You know the ocean. I get it, but no, I uh, I I loved that performance. Are there any other uh, performances as of now planned uh, with you two coming together to perform this song? Nope. No, nothing or, or nothing that we can say. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say it's it's 100 percent off the table, but nothing, nothing announceable. OK, yeah, things come like as they come, I, it, especially, you know, not touring, not being able to like travel as much as we normally would to do promo. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we just like take them as they come. Like, hey, you want to do this show? Let's do it. Well, and things nowadays are probably popping up, you know, more just out of the blue with the way the world is and things changing, you know, with different restrictions happening or being lifted. There's stuff that might just pop up just out of nowhere and you have to sit here and give them an answer quickly, you know. Yeah, I do miss doing performances for shows in person. Like I miss going to New York and 
um, like doing Fallon and stuff like that was, you know, so much a part of, you know, releasing singles for me the last five years. So I'm excited to go back and do that again at some point in a real way. Me too. Yeah. Well, we, we actually, right before the pandemic started and hit and probably just about a year ago, I think JP we had you scheduled to make a stop here inside our studio and, and stop by and, and perform for us. Um, and, you know, once everything hit and got shut down, you know, automatically that was canceled. So we can't wait to you can actually be on the road so we can hear these songs live and in, in person. And Marin, I've gotten to see you live. I actually went to uh, Indianapolis when you were on tour with Sam Hunt and uh, surprised my wife with tickets to that show. And so we went out there and it was a great show. But yeah, definitely, we cannot wait to see you and all the other artists back out on the road. I'm, I'm gonna be two years late for that performance, but I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Better late than never, right? <laughs> Well, Marin and uh, JP, thank you so much for, for joining us. I know we, you guys have a, a busy schedule. We can't wait to see the performance uh, on Sunday at the Grammys, Marin. Uh, congratulations, JP, also on the, the Juno Award nominations and Marin for your uh, six ACM Award nominations. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so, there's a lot of hardware coming your guys' way. <laughs> thank you so much. Nice to talk to you. You too. Have a good one. Thank you. I'm going to go into a new link.